Welcome. Glad you joined us this evening for our <laughs> revival prayer meeting. It's Pastor Matt Nettesheim, Grace Baptist Temple, and my good friend, Randy McMain. How are you doing, Brother Randy? Doing great today. Man, God is good, isn't he? Amen. Yes, sir. And uh, we started off today, Brother Randy, uh, going out soul winning. Yes, sir. Yes, and sir. so we had a interesting idea. We decided that people out there had some needs, and so we were able to uh, gather up a hundred or yes, more sir. toilet paper rolls. Yes, sir. And so uh, we had people going out into needy different areas, knocking on doors. You had some interesting things. Now, tell yes, me sir. a little bit about it. So we went out there today, and we were we had our toilet paper rolls, and we had our tracks. We had them folded up like this in the toilet paper roll. And um, so people gave you interesting looks, and then when you you reminded them that the stores don't have any toilet paper, they really, they want to take your toilet paper really quick. Like all of a sudden, like whoop. Right, just like whoop. Hey, hey, give me that. Great. <laughs> and so we had a, we had three people get saved today during soul winning. Amen. I had a guy answer the door and he invited us in, and they said, uh, "I'm in isolation," and I said, <laughs> and I said, "Uh oh," and he was like, "No, no, self isolation because I don't want to get sick." So. Uh, it was a great day. We you, got to you see told me that guy you met, he like started telling you a story about how he died in boot camp and then he died off at yes, battle sir, so or something like that. As soon as we got to the door, he said, let me tell you a story. He said, I was in boot camp and I drowned and I died. And then he said, they were able to resuscitate me. Then I was in Vietnam and then we got hit by a mortar and then I died again. They were able to resuscitate me. Yes. And I told him, I said, can you imagine that God gave you enough mercy and grace they allowed them to resuscitate you so all these years later you could receive Christ as your Savior. Amen. It was a great day. Great day. Now, did he take the toilet paper? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Praise the Lord for that. Thank you for joining us. We're going to sing a song, and maybe you know it, maybe you don't. It's one of my favorite songs. I remember listening to 99.7 <laughs> years ago, uh, BBN, and all of a sudden this song came on. It's called I'll Tell the World that I'm a Christian. Yes, sir. And uh, I never knew the, I'd, I'd heard it sung, and I said, that is a wonderful song. And it took me years to find a copy of it, but it's one of my absolute favorite songs. Now, <laughs> I hope you sing with me. I've never sang a duet with just me Ooh. and Brother Randy. Oh, we had, we, before we, we, we almost need to pray. Well, yes. we'll pray afterwards, because we'll need some prayer afterwards. But sing with me, if you will. I'll tell the world that I'm a Christian. I'm not ashamed his name to bear. I'll tell the world that I'm a Christian. I'll take him with me anywhere. I'll tell the world how Jesus saved me and how he gave me a life brand new. And I know that if you trust him, that all he gave me, he'll give to you. I'll tell the world that he's my savior. No other one could love me so. My life, my all is his forever. And where he leads me, I will go. Pretty good. Well, that was really good, Amen. wasn't it? That's pretty good. Let's yes, do this. I'll tell the world that, that he is coming. It may be near or far away, but we must live as if his coming would be tomorrow or today. For when he comes and life is over, for those who love him, there's more to be. Eyes have never seen the wonders that he's preparing for you and me. Go tell the world that you're a Christian. Be not ashamed his name to bear. Go tell the world that you're a Christian and take him with you. Everywhere. Amen. 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 Tell the world. Yes, sir. And it's wonderful. A lot's been going on. Late, late last night, I received a call from Miss Martha Hill. And uh, George Hill had been in Lake Taylor Rehabilitation Home. And they'd been separated for about three weeks. And 
uh, George Hill, she was able to actually see George and praise the Amen. Lord she did. Amen. And he was not doing very good. When she got there, notice there was problems. They had to rush him to the hospital. And uh, he's in the hospital right now, and we're going to be in prayer for George Hill. Now, yes, I know sir. some of you have some prayer requests out there. Yes, sir. And what I'm hoping you'll do is uh, put in the comment section below and put your prayer requests in there. And a few minutes later, Brother Randy, you're going to be praying for these prayer requests. Yes, and also, if you want, you can text the number 757 816 8336. That's 757 757- 816-8336. Once again, 757-816-8336 with a prayer request, and that will be a blessing. Amen. Before we go in, I want to I open in a word of prayer, and I want to yes. pray for George Hill, and then I'm going to take the Word of God. I want to show you something in, from the Word of God that I believe will help you and will comfort you. Let us pray. Amen. Dear Father in heaven, we love you. I'm excited, Lord. And uh, you've been so good to Grace Baptist Temple, my family, and I, Lord, I'm thankful for that. I've been rejoicing this whole week with these revival prayer meetings. Been good, good preaching, but the prayer, Lord, being able to go to you, the author and finisher of our faith, Lord. And as we go to you and we ask you to help, Lord, you do. You strengthen us, you guide us, you encourage us, Lord. And Lord, I pray that you help us to be strengthened tonight. I know there's a lot of prayer requests out there. And Lord, I I pray that people uh, can go and not only listen to a prayer, but bow their head and their hearts to you and realize that they can call on your name, Lord. Yes, sir. And uh, Lord, I pray that you give me wisdom as I open your holy word in just a moment. And uh, it's not going to be long, Lord, but it's a great simple truth that we need to be reminded of, Lord. We love you. We thank you for your goodness. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Oh, Brother Randy. Yes, sir. The Bible's good, isn't it? Yes, sir. Amen. The Bible's great. That's a good. Now, the Bible, if you looked at the beginning, and you think about the beginning, Genesis chapter 1. Yes, sir. And uh, Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 says, in the beginning, God. Amen. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Yes, sir. And so the Bible starts with God. Amen. And it reminds us, in the beginning, God. God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness uh, was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. Yes, sir. But now, but not only is God in the beginning, Randy, if you were to go to the last chapter in this blessed old book, to the book of Revelation, and chapter number 22... And look at this. Look at this is a, a neat thought. God's in the beginning. In the very beginning of the Bible is God. In Revelation 22, verse number one, it says, And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God. Amen. Ooh, the throne of God. Yes, sir. And uh, of the Lamb. And it's so interesting. You start at the beginning, God. You get to the last part, you see God. Yes, sir. And can I just ask you a question, Brother Randy? Yes, sir. You know, God's in the beginning. Yes, sir. God is obviously there at the end. Yes, sir. But guess what's in the middle? I'm just saying God. Oh, without a doubt. Amen. You go in the middle of the Bible, there's God. You go everywhere in the Bible, you find God. Yes, sir. And by the way, can I just say at the beginning, the very beginning of time, God was there. Yes, sir. He created the heaven and earth. In the end of times, when that throne of God, he appears on his throne right there, Woo, the new Jerusalem, the Amen. gates of pearl, the streets of gold, God is there. Amen. But we need to be reminded that in 2020, God is still Amen. alive Amen. and still on his throne. Now, if you have a Bible, turn with me to the book of Psalm chapter 24. I want you to uh, see this, Psalm chapter 24, and uh, very interesting, Psalm chapter 24. Oh, take me a second to get there. Yes. Psalm 24, verse number one, it says, the earth is the Lord's. Amen. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he, that's God, yes, founded upon the sea and established it upon the floods. That is awesome. The earth is the Lord's. God's in the beginning. God's at the end. 
And in truth, God is all throughout history, God is alive and well and working people's lives. Yes, sir. Now, we may be going through a difficult time, the coronavirus. You remember when you first heard about the coronavirus, maybe December, January? Yes, sir. It was so far off in China. And then you heard rumors and maybe some grumblings that it might one day end up on the shores of the United States. You open up the paper today, oh my, over 100,000 cases of the coronavirus in the United States. Mm. New York City, uh, all thousands upon thousands of people have the coronavirus. The death toll in the United States is just over 2,000 people. And it's easy to forget during that time that God is in control. God knows you. God knows me. God, God is a wonderful God who not only uh, is in control of things, he knows your every thoughts, he knows your aches, he knows your pains, he knows your financial situation. And I want to be reminded that God is in control of that. The, the book of Job chapter one, mm -hmm. boy, Job went through some devastating times. Yes, By the sir. way, you, you lose your family, mm -hmm. you lose your health, you lose your wealth, and it happened just like that. Yes, yes, and imagine sir. Job. Job's looking at what just happened. My life is over, seemingly, but he said, the Lord giveth, yes, sir. the Lord taketh away, That's right. blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Why? Because the earth is the Lord's yes, and the fullness thereof. He knew that God was in the beginning. He knew God was going to be at the end of, of revelation on the throne. And Job could understand that even in the difficult time, God's in control. Yes, blessed sir. be the name of the Lord. By the way, uh, Job had a wife. Yes, sir. Who, who couldn't understand at that period of time. Yes, sir. Now, she understands now. Oh, yeah. She's in heaven. Oh, yeah. And she's looking back and sort of shaking her head, probably listening to me tonight and saying, oh, I've heard this a thousand times from <laughs> preachers all throughout history. Amen. I'm going to be glad when this is over. Yes, sir. Uh, but she, she looked over at jo Job during this, and she said to Job, why don't you just curse God and die? Yes, sir. And uh, the, 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 uh, the Bible tells us that Job looked at her and said, Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. Yes, sir. And, you know, through this time, you're going to hear a lot of noise. You, you'll say, yeah, God was in the beginning. You'll say to people, God's at the end. You'll say, God's still working in 2020. God's still in control. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And sometimes you'll have somebody look at you and say, why don't you curse God and die? Yes, and, you know, what you just say to them is have some understanding, have some sympathy, Maybe you could even smile. Show me your smile right there. I love Brother Randy's smile. He's got the smile. <laughs> and uh, you could smile and say, listen, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. By the way, hindsight for Brother Job, he looks back and says, whoo, God was working all along. He's taking care of things. He was working in my life. Little did I realize Though it seemingly was a difficult time, God was going to use that period of time in my life to encourage people all throughout the ages yes, of eternity. Right. Right. The Lord giveth, the Lord taketh away, blessed be the name of the Lord. Say with Job, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Maybe your health has been not as well as you'd like. You have some aching pains, some maybe difficulties that maybe even have the coronavirus. But listen, look, look, look to the Lord. As the author in here, finish your faith. Remember, he was in the beginning. Remember, he's in the end. Yes, remember, sir. he's all in between. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. And say, yo, uh, don't say yo. <laughs> <laughs> yo, <laughs> say, though he slay Amen. me, yet will I trust yes, sir. in right. him. That's right. That's such a great truth. Such a great truth. Yes, sir. Brother Andy, I'm going to sort of go away from that for just a minute. But churches, what a week for churches. Uh, yes, sir. All over America, uh, pastors have had some just agonizing yes, decisions sir. about yes, church and uh, difficult, sometimes yeah. pressure from the government, sometimes pressure from people about whether to have church or not to have church yes, and uh, agonizing over it. You know, God's in control. That's right. He's in the beginning. Right. He's in the end. He's working today. If we can look at it as, yeah, it's a difficult situation, but let's, let's do something. That's right. Let's take a difficult situation. Let's take some lemons and, make and turn it into lemonade. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> and so tomorrow, 
Oh, uh, hey, look man. at that, brother That's Andy. Lemonade. I don't know if they can see that up on there. Maybe they, they can, can't right there. But uh, this right here is speaking of our drive-in church. And at Gold Grace Baptist Temple, we're going to have drive-in church. Yes, and uh, we're going to use social distancing. Yes, sir. Uh, they're going to come into the church tomorrow. We're going to have our little social distancing with the uh, bulletins. And uh, we're going to have handshaking tomorrow, uh, but our handshaking is going to be not the actual shaking of hands. We're going to have people in their car, and at handshaking time, just uh, pop the uh, the uh, horn a couple times, boom, boom. Yes, sir. And uh, it's going to be a good. What we're doing is taking something difficult, yes, sir, and turning it into an opportunity to point people to Jesus, the author and the finisher of faith. What we're doing yes, tomorrow is going to remind people, hey, in the beginning, God. We're going to remind them in the end of the book of Revelation, God's on the throne. That's it, right. And then all the way in between, yes, God sir. is on the throne. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Woo! God, I'm excited. Yes, sir. Amen. I'm excited. 8.30 tomorrow, 11 o'clock tomorrow. Now, Brother Randy. Yes, sir. 757 uh, 816 Yes, sir. And uh, how are we doing? We get some prayer requests. We're getting them on uh, Facebook comments. I mean, yeah, Facebook comments. Good. And so, boy, we could use a couple more prayer requests. Yeah, and uh, you can join in with us. I mean, listen, this is an opportunity of a lifetime. Join uh, Pastor Matt Nettesheim and the Randy McMain right here in a revival <laughs> prayer meeting. Yes, sir. We make a good team, don't we? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And so uh, praise the Lord. Brother Randy, I love you. Yes, sir. I love you um, too, Pastor. We're going to go to the Lord in prayer. I know a lot to pray for with George Hill, yes, Miss sir. Martha. Uh, a lot to pray for for those services tomorrow. Yes, sir. I believe the Lord's going to work in a mighty way. And then there's a prayer request. By the way, is Brother Randy about, is going to lead us in prayer in just a moment. I do ask you. I ask you to bow your heart, and uh, I, <laughs> I pray that you bow your, your knee to the Lord, and you call out to God and pray along yes, with us. Brother Ray, I'm turning it over to you. We got several prayer requests tonight, and uh, we just uh, you keep them coming in the in the comment section below, or you can text that number seven five seven eight one six eight three three six, and we'll be able to pray for those. And uh, let's go ahead and pray. Father, we just thank you so much for today, God. As we went out this morning, God, we weren't sure what you were going to do, God, but we sure did pray that yes. you would do something today. And God, we prayed believing, Amen. and God, you. You uh, you answered our prayer, God. It was amazing that we were able to go out and hand out toilet paper rolls. Amen. It doesn't sound like much, but it was, sure was a lot to those people, yes. God. And it was a blessing to those people. And God, uh, the bigger blessing was that three people trusted Christ as their Savior, God. And we thank Amen. you so much for that, God, that their eternal destination has changed forever, God. And we thank you so much for that, God. I do pray for um, our church service tomorrow, God. Pray you give us wisdom, God. I pray you help everything go decently and in order, yes, God. Lord. God, I pray you be honored and glorified in the preaching and in the, the, what everything we do, God. I pray that you be lifted up, glorified. I pray that people yes. see that we're not trying to draw attention to ourselves, God. We're trying to draw attention to you. Amen. And we want people to see that church is important and that we're trying to do it the right way, God. And we're trying to please you and then still try, try to show the, the, the um, neighborhood that, God, we're still trying to be responsible, Amen. God, and I pray you would help us with that. God, be with the Hills, uh, yeah, George Hill, God, and his wife, God, help them, God. God, he's in the hospital right this very moment, God, yes. and we just pray for the doctor's wisdom. God, we pray you would help him and encourage him. God, help Martha, God, and I pray you, she's, uh, it's, it's got to be difficult, God, not being able to go to the hospital, not being able to see each other. And God, I pray you would give them peace, and God, help them and lead them and guide them, God. We do pray for the fathers, God. Uh, we just thank you so much for them being willing to go, God, uh, forsaking themselves and just putting you first, God, and going to a country. And, and God, as we talked about Monday, the perfect time for them to go, God. God, they wouldn't be able to go now if they were trying to. And God, they would, 10 years ago, they weren't ready to go. And God, so we just thank you so much for this perfect time for them. Yes. And God, I pray you would watch over them. I pray you would bless them. I pray you would continue to use them. Uh, they're on lockdown, brother, uh, brother Gallion's on lockdown, God. I pray you would help him to be able to encourage his people, watch over them, and, and still lead them and guide them, God. Help our church people as they're in lockdown, in isolation, God, to stay close to you, God. God, we can get distracted. We can miss church. But then when we, the more church we met, miss, I feel like the less we miss it. Yeah. 
Yes. And God, we don't want people to get used to not being at church. Yes. We want people to stay close to you, stay close in the Bible reading, stay close in, in, in prayer, and stay close telling people about you, God. And I pray you would help work and bless there, God. We had a prayer request from Miss Mavis, God. Uh, oh, just give yes. her encouragement, God. Help, God, Mavis. watch over her. Help her to be able to go to the doctor, God. She needs to go to the yes. doctor. Please watch her and watch over her. Be with uh, Miss D- Diane Deardoff's mother-in-law. Yes. She has a kidney infection. God, please, please help her. Please give the doctors wisdom. And uh, Gentry is asking for a prayer for his family, God. Help Gentry. And uh, it, please help him, God, and please watch over him. Yes. Uh, he's in Chicago, God. You know it's, it's bad there, God, and I pray you would watch over him. Uh, God, I pray you watch over everybody's... Um, Family, he wants to pray for everybody's family during this time, God, yes. and not thinking of himself, but thinking about others, God, and I pray that that be the Christian heart and attitude during this times, God, that we would uh, be more patient with each other, God. We would uh, try to reach reach out and see how we can help each other, God, and God, it's not it's not it's nothing new, God. You told us to love you yes. and to love others, God, and that's the two greatest commandments, God. And I pray that during this time. We would do that, God. And I pray yes. that you would work and bless. Help pastor as he preaches tomorrow. Amen. Give him power. Give him might. Help our people to come, God. Help our people to come out. And uh, they're going to be safe in their cars, God. And I just pray you would just work and bless. God, help tonight. Help us to sleep well. And yes. God, help us have a great day tomorrow. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Oh, Brother Randy, this has been good. Yes, sir. It's been great. I appreciate it. I appreciate and, uh, it. Well, I would like to say a special thanks tonight because behind the scenes, oh, amen. There's a there's a behind the scenes man that you can't see right now. He's amen. behind the camera. Amen. And his name is Andy Hancock. Yes, sir. And everybody, yes, let's give him a round of applause. And uh, we probably need some of you next time we have this to probably put in the comment section. Pray for Andy amen. Hancock. Amen. And uh, right. working hard has been a blessing. It's been a blessing you being with us. Yes, sir. Uh, Brother Randy, we're going to do this again <laughs> next week, starting Monday. And yes, sir. Uh, we're going to continue this as long as we, we can. I, I need it right yes, now. Yes, sir. And I know amen. a lot of people need this right amen. out here. It's been a blessing. Just a reminder that we need to go to the Lord in prayer. Amen. But just at this time, Amen. just at the time, we, we have a special guest. Yes, sir. The special guest. If special guests come up here, the surprise special guest. Yes, sir. And uh, Brother Randy, I, I put out for tomorrow that we were going to have Otis Spunkenmeyer. Yes, sir. Or Spunkmeyer. Sounds good. Something like Something that. Something like that. Yes, and uh, what happened is all of a sudden I realized we didn't have any spunk in Meyer muffins for tomorrow. Brother, come on over here. Pull, pull up your chair real quick. And uh, oh, you got a chair? It be a pretend chair. Right? Okay, pretend chair. And so <laughs> it was it was it. like 5 o'clock at night. I said, oh, my. I forgot to line up somebody getting the spunk Meyer oh. uh, muffin, which is bad. And so what do I do, brother? You're, you're like the behind the scenes, help out the pastor yes, with sir. all else fails. So I called Brother Jordan. I said, Brother Jordan, my buddy, old pal, old buddy, old oh, pal, buddy. old pal. <laughs> and then he says, what do you need? <laughs> yes, sir. Amen. And so were you able to find the... the yes, sir. You were? 250 of them. 250. So Brother Randy? Amen. To come. Two, yes. We need people to yes, come. Yes, sir. We're going to... Now, whether you want a muffin or not <laughs> tomorrow, you're, you're going to take a muffin? Amen. Uh, is that what we're going to say? They're going to take a muffin. Right. right? Yeah, we're going to do it. So yes, thank you for your help. Yes, sir. And yes, tomorrow sir. is Uriah's first day coming to church. Yes, sir. Amen. It's going to be a blessing. Yes, Brother sir. Jordan, if you'll close us in a word of prayer. Yes, sir. Sure. Heavenly Father, Lord, we are thankful for today, Lord. Uh, we're thankful, um, Lord, for this last week that we had where, Lord, we can uh, come together, Lord, in a different way. Yes. Um, whether it's been online, at the church house, Lord, uh, trying to stay away from each other, Lord, but ultimately we're trying not to stay away from you, God. Yes. And um, we do ask that you help us to have uh, safety and social distancing, um, Lord, from this this virus, this disease, Lord, but help us to only get closer to you. Yes. And, yes, God, uh, We're please. thankful that we have this opportunity to have a drive-in church service tomorrow, Lord. Yes. I do hope that uh, the word gets out, Lord, uh, maybe even other churches or different things like that, Lord, where uh, people can hear about it. Uh, maybe their church doors are closed, and uh, Lord, I just ask that you um, get the word out there for us, Lord, yes, um, through Lord. multiple ways, and let people know that there is a church um, that's trying to stay open, Lord, the best we know how. Yes, Lord. And uh, we're trying to work and lead our people, Lord, to continue to love you during this time, Lord. Help uh, help us, Lord. Um, help our people, Lord, to uh, to not waver away from you during this time, Lord, but to, to grow closer to you. 
And uh, we're thankful for tonight, Lord, thankful for our week of uh, prayer requests and 